Come to church. And see, this is how we can be in church and be out. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. This is how we can be hearing the word but be mentally checked out. Yeah. The reason that I tell my story is because I'm irritated by leadership that will come in and that will throw the word at you, but we don't have enough discernment to see you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. And so God says these services are necessary. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because we cannot continue, hear me, to prophesy houses and cars and not speak to the hell you're going through. Right. What good does it tell me you're going to get a car and you get in the car with the same pain yeah. and hell that you had when you bought it? Yeah. It's time to be free. Yeah. I want to be yeah. proof of God. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be proof yeah. that God is real. Yeah. Yeah. Promiscuity with just one thing. Yeah. And see, when you open yourself up to stuff, yeah. When you make conscious decisions and you speak over yourself, yeah. it was then that I ended up in not one but two homosexual relationships, knowing I didn't have no business, yeah. knowing that I was miserable. Yeah. And even a pastor is telling me, you all right. My God. My God. Stay where you are. That's just the church of God in Christ. Uh, That's just the stuff they taught you. Come on. And I'm yeah. crying out for help. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't hear me. I, I need right. you to catch this. I need yeah. you to catch this. Yeah. I need you because the enemy had an assignment on my life. Right. I did not right. know then that I would prophesy. Yeah. I did not know then. I knew I was called to preach. But it was an exercise because the people preaching were exercising. They wasn't living no more holy than I was. Yeah. Yeah. was just that thing I did on Sunday. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. And then the rest of my life was Monday through Saturday. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. And God says, I want to change the dynamic back to the real glory, which yeah. is the presence of God. Yeah. We've gotten away from the real life-changing presence of God. Yeah. And I want to encourage you because I heard some of the testimonies and some of them were given from a place of freedom and some of them were given from the place of guilt. Right. And I want to break that because I want to tell you something. I did not come to God because I came to church and had a mag magical moment at the altar. Yeah. All right. it didn't happen. Yeah. They put me out of the church. Come on. When they I found know. out the come life on. I was living, they yeah. pretty much told me, don't I come know. back That's and don't it. talk to our young people. Oh, they know. shut the doors in my face. So how was I supposed to get God? Yeah. I found God in my house one day. Yeah. I was so exhausted and tired of the life that I was living. Yeah. I was tired of being tired. Yeah. I was struggling. Yeah. And I got down on my knees. Yeah. And I didn't even know what to say. Yeah. All right. yeah. But I said to God, if you are real, yeah. and you know you have a plan yeah. for me still, yeah. if, if the plan for me still exists, you got to prove it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got to prove it. Because if you don't prove it, I'm done. I'm yeah. checking out. Yeah. I'm going to take every pill in my cabinet, and I'm checking out of here. So you got 30 seconds, God. Yeah. to prove that you are real. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard my mother praying. Everybody yeah. shut up. Oh, I heard her voice. I was not with hey. her, but I heard yeah. her praying for me. And I heard I, there's a special way yeah. that she prays. I grew up with her as an intercessor. So yeah. I knew her tongue, and I knew her voice, yeah. and I knew her way. Uh, and I heard her God. pray. And I, all I heard was deliver my baby, deliver my baby. Yeah. Now whether she was praying or not, that was oh. enough for me. And I said yeah. to God, now listen, if you can talk to me like that, Because it's about reversing yes. your mindset. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna get to my scripture in a minute, but I want you to understand something. The minute that God puts you in your womb, my teachers everywhere I go, you were swaddled in his plan. Yes. Yes. Right. The enemy understood that you were on assignment for God yes. and threw at us a counterfeit life. All right. And we accepted the world systems yeah. and the, yeah, the world's ways. Yeah. And, and, and listen, everything we did was 
wasn't always bad because the world tells us go to school, get a degree, get a job, put that job for more money, make a better job. And we're always taught from even the time we're kids, we start pulling away from mom. Don't tie my shoes, don't feed me, let me dress myself. And so we're always asserting our authority and our independence. Am I right about it? And so we're learning the minute we began to walk to become independent. And the problem with independence is it's good in order to teach you how to do for yourself. Yeah. Uh -huh. But suddenly, we begin to take the place of God. Yeah. And we take ownership, hear me, of a life that don't belong to you anyway. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We make a conscious decision yeah. that I'm going to take fate and destiny, catch those two words, yeah. in my own hands. Yeah. Come on. You can go to classes if you listen Come on, you hear all of these affirmations yeah, and yeah. let's affirm our way out as if the cross don't work. But the reality is, you got to remember that when there was a plan and a blueprint written for you, yeah. you don't get to tell God who you're not going to yeah. be. All right. The enemy would not be doing his job yeah. if we never felt abandoned. Come on, man. He would not be doing his job yeah. if we never felt yeah. weightless uh -huh. right. or rejected uh -huh. or angry enough to yeah. kill someone. Yeah. Come on, I need you to work this with yeah. me because right. I'm not here by myself. Right. I know I'm not. The yeah. enemy is intentional. Do you yeah. hear me? Yeah. Because there's a thing that is called free will that we yeah. operate in. Yeah. And God had to show me yeah. it's yeah. not that I allowed you yeah. to go through yeah. what you did. I saw what you did, but I was walking yeah. with you and I was saving you every touch. I was saving you every inappropriate action. I was standing with you when you were hurting. I was there when mom and dad walked away. Come on. I was your own witness. The enemy will have you growing up carrying pain. Yeah. My brother, you bless me. Yes. He was talking about losing his mother. Yeah. The enemy was waiting. It. Creeping around the corner, oh, yeah. Yeah. thinking I'm gonna snatch his life. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the biggest slap in the devil's face is when he walked through that door. There's something that so many of you said that messed me up because you started to get it, and all I really have to do is give you the second half of it because you got it. Almost everybody who testified testified that the Lord drew them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. And I need you to understand how powerful that is. Yeah. Because I'm tired of the church giving the devil so much credit. Yeah. He is a one-trick pony. He will do one thing all the time. Distract you, distract you, distract you, distract you. Now our distractions may be different. For some it may be going out to the streets and relying on the streets. To some it may be doing drugs. To others it may be sickness. All he can do is distract. That's all he can do. But God is so faithful. Not just to us, but to the plan. Uh, yeah. He's so faithful yes, he to the original blueprint. My yeah. Bible says, yeah. I'm a God that I cannot lie. Yeah. And I just told you that before you came out of the womb, you were swallowed in his plan, right? Isn't that what I said? Uh -huh. He is so faithful and committed to that plan that if you ever give him an inch of room, yeah. that's why some of y'all couldn't yeah. stop coming to church. Yeah. That's why some of y'all couldn't yeah. stop praying when you wanted to. You gotta somehow magically find a heart for God. Yeah. Oh, if I had to magically find it, I would have never gotten here. Because yeah. I didn't right. nothing he said. So he says, What I want, and I'm speaking to every person in this room. He says, What I want is a reset. I want us to go beyond the testimony. Yes. Because I need a reset. He said. Kingdom living. Yes. And I want it. you to get kingdom That's yes. it. That's in it. your gut. That's yes. it. And don't you forget yes. that word. Yes. For as long as you live. Yes. yes. Because yes. what he told me when I began to walk the process of yes, and he snatched everything, he walked with me down the corridor of my life, and he dismantled every single lie. Lies that had set up because of molestation and abuse. Nobody's gonna want you. You ain't good enough. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Whatever your lies are, baby girl.
in, kill yourself, go hit the wall. See, that's the kind of demonic stuff that he'll yeah, do. Yeah. 